Yo, what's going on guys? Today we'll be looking at the rebalanced Lesia. This was actually painful. I took about God knows how long trying to structure a team so I can sell off as many orders as possible in one run. I don't even know if it's going to be possible. I'll probably have to take on the boss that take a little while. I don't even know what boss to kill. I'll probably think about it. Maybe Gilgamesh or something comes. But yeah, I tried to build the team as best as possible that I, to what I can build so that we can get all her orders and look at them. She did get quite a bit of buffs, um, mainly in her passive and in a couple of the orders that are not frequently used, like debuff orders and healing orders. But let's look at her. So first thing first, her Ogi got no change. Come on, like... When I look at this Ogi, then I go back at the back button, and then I, then, I, then I look at this Ogi, and I'm just like... Wait, they have the same Ogi. Wait, no, JK, the character has a way better Ogi, bro. <laughs> Why? Yo, can we get a... Can, uh, her five star coming soon, right? Yeah, we need we need some win attack up, double attack rate, crit, damage cap up, all that. Because <laughs> you got to compete with that other girl right there, so... Just throwing it out there, you know? saying now as i mentioned her ogi did not get any change but one thing that did get a change is her skill one now she has a new mechanic where she has the ability to raise one silver wing blessing it caps out at three and it, i believe they lowered the cooldown from six turns to five turns so you can hear sonic boom sonic boom um more so yeah let's like guile so let's hold let's hold back now, I don't know much about Silver Wing Blessing. We'll talk more about it when we get to our passive, but just know that your way of raising it is through Sonic Boom. Gal would be proud. Now, her skill two still has no change. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, I don't even know what the skill do half the time, to be honest. <laughs> I'll be honest, I, I don't really remember what it does half the time, so it's there. Cool, yay. The outward command attack order is pretty much the skill. Um, mainly, this is the attack order skill. This skill gives orders based on skill typing used. If you don't know what typings are, if you see the border of every skill, it has a different color. As you can see here, this one is red, this one is green, this one is yellow. They're dictated by the color of their borders. So, for example, the red borders are called attack skills. Even if the attack does no damage and the border is red, that's an attack skill. Um, even if it heals, it's still attack skill. The green border is healing skills. Even if the healing skill does damage, it's, as long as the border is green, it's a healing skill. No matter what, no matter what it, the effect is, it'll still be considered a healing skill. And the yellow border is the buff skill. As I mentioned, no matter if that buff skill does damage or not, as long as this border is yellow, it's going to buff. And there's one more color. This is a blue color, which stands for debuffs. And that's how we get the debuff orders. So I did bring an assortment of different skills in my team so that we can really cycle through every orders. Um, hopefully, I can showcase everything. I will probably need a little bit of RNG on my side, but we'll see how it goes. And that skill did get a change because now, as I mentioned, they did change um, the debuff orders. Now they turned her into a walking Thor. You know, Light had their own Thor. So they were like, ah, Light has that. When needs it too. So let's give it to Lesia and make her go through hell and back to get it. So unfortunate, but at max level five, I believe she should be able to cast her ghetto Thor. <laughs> I believe they also buffed healing orders as well by the amount it heals. I don't know if we'll be able to showcase that because I don't expect to take much damage in Gigglemess, but maybe I could be wrong. We'll see, we'll see. And here we have acting captain of the crew of Enforcer. It's, it's a brand new um, effect now. Before I used to have a chance to remove one Diva from Lessie at the start of battle. Get that out of here. Now we have boost to all allies attack, defense, and skill damage specs meaning skill damage cap and skill damage and skill hit rate. So any, I don't know if it's accounts to debuffs or 
nukes with debuffs. But I believe this counts for any debuffs in general. So this is different, like for example, like Six is, as I did a video on Six before, his nuke has a debuff applied to it, opposed to like, let's say, Mist, which does not have any damage to it, it's just a debuff. I don't know what the wording is for this, so. I, I would assume it applies to all debuffs and not skill-based debuffs, but I don't know. And healing specs based on Silver Wings, Blessing, so. At level three, you'll be getting the max benefit from all of these, which is really cool. Now, she has another new passive, brand new, Sunrise Sword, rates Dawn Sky Ed's level when an ally uses a skill. When at level three, when damage to all foes, orders level rises, resets Dawn Sky Edge. So, that's really cool. I don't know how practical it is or what how much damage it does. Um, we do gain a orders at the end of it though, which is really cool. So that's that. Let's go fight with her. Um, as I mentioned, we're gonna take on a Gilgamesh. So I did. I want to take on a boss where I can like get all her orders off. So Medusa is not long enough uh, because Medusa doesn't have enough health. Bal, I actually don't want to fight Bal at all. So I'm just gonna avoid that one. We don't have a Grimnir. We'll improvise. So the the the, the summon in the in the picture is gonna be a little bit different because I'll be mating Grimnir. But that's not too different, right? Hopefully people don't kill me over it. Uh, normally I would like refresh, but I just don't have the time to do that right now. It's probably the last video because I'm actually getting very tired from talking so much. So. It'd be a last video for like a couple hours, and then when I'm ready to talk again, I'll go over the other characters. So you can see here, I brought three debuffs on my main character to get the debuff the debuff orders as quickly as possible. So let's go and test. So we're gonna start off with debuff orders if we can. So I apply all the debuffs. Now, I'm actually not gonna hit any other skills here. So I can save those orders for later. So, ooh, you can see the nuke right there. Nice, that was a one mil. Not bad, not bad. We didn't get to see how much damage it did though with defense down cap, unfortunately. But still, I think it was really good. Um, Where's auto? So, I was looking at my, wow, we've got the 5%. All right, cool. So here we go. Thor. <laughs> she really is a Thor, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, I don't know how practical that is, right? I don't know how practical that is, but she really is a Thor. We have three turns to go before we can cast another one. You can tell that I'm not buffing because I want to save the buff skills because I'm using those next. Or maybe I should heal. No, I think I'm a buff. And I'll use the heal after the 50% trigger. So I'll take a little bit more damage. So I want to be the showcase how much he actually heals. So we need to do buff orders now. One. Oh, got the nuke off. One million still. So we're going to need a little bit of luck here. Um, we can use the nukes now. Because these nukes don't last too long. But we're going to need a little bit of luck here so that we are able to... Wow, see this. Oh man, she's just hitting nukes left and right. So like on a very click happy team, that's really cool. But yeah, as I was mentioning, um, we're gonna need a little bit of RNG here so we can get, f wait, we already have five. Wait, how do I get five? Huh? I've only used three buff skills. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I got five there. Unless they changed it. So I don't believe they did, but let's get critical and, and veil and all that. So that's cool. I don't know if they changed it though. Okay, well, that's something I gotta I look at next time. That oh, man, I like that. It's probably not practical her her nuke too much, 
but it's, it's not it's not bad i want to say it's bad by any means the only thing when i say like it's not practical is because like it's very click heavy and in most content you can't really get all those clicks in like most of the time your life is going to be autoing and refreshing so it's something you gotta rethink really about Okay, cool. So we take low damage here, so we'll be able to heal and use the healing skills now. Uh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go for heal now. I'm actually going to heal her. And we'll use this. Three. Is, is it that she gained one extra by luck or something? How is she getting the extra one? She had five really quick. I only use. Wait, hold up. Yeah, I, I just kind of got really lucky there. Because she shouldn't have had five there, I don't believe. We're going to take quite a bit of damage here because we have defense down and. Uh, what that? Earth defense down? So it'd be a good way to showcase how much she can heal. I uh, hope it doesn't hit monkey though. That's, of course, it hits monkey. I mean, it's what I hope, right? So we're gonna need another turn to showcase that. Uh, we're gonna actually end up. I need auto again. I need to take more damage than this. Not enough. Come on, hit me, baby, hit me. Slap me. I'm not debuffing you either. Hit me. 3k, good, good, good. So let's now heal monkey, and then we'll see what her heal can do now. So let's do the heal order, and see what we got here. 3k heal, eh, a 3k heal and clear. That sounds pretty boo-boo, doesn't it? <laughs> that sounds pretty, pretty, pretty lackluster on my point. I think the heal order is still not going to be used much. That's not looking too good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, just, I don't see it. I mean, maybe you guys could probably think, you know, it looks good. But to me, it's just like, mm. uh, yeah, we'll, we'll pass on that one. So let's try to get the 50 here. Now, from here on out, I've showcased the buff, heal, and debuff. So now we're just gonna pure attack orders. The only orders that matter. Yes, I still believe that her attack orders is gonna be the primary the primary use of her orders. I don't think the other ones are strong enough to really warrant being used, unfortunately. Um, maybe it's the debuff one, but the problem is that Thor, it's actually becoming irrelevant in, like, most content, if you haven't noticed, right? So, it's really hard for me to say that Thor is going to be used too much, sadly. That's my opinion, though. But I don't, I really, I don't really think that her debuff, I mean, while it is good, right, to have, like, a character that has Thor, you, first, you have to bring a character with a debuff but to even get started on her, it's just too much, too much. So I, while the buff is cool and all, I just don't think it's that big of a buff to the point where it's worth running. Maybe if it was stackable though, I think if it, if it was stackable, I think it would be more viable. But because it's not stackable, I just think this Thor itself is just, it's just not that great anymore, right? Look at Fa, right? Thor, resist, resist. So. I just can't really say, oh man, this is looking gonna be really good. You know, actuality doesn't seem, you know, that great. In the grand scheme of things. I know that makes some people sad, right? Wow, I really do like that nuke. Oh, she got her, her attack buffs. I am really a fan of that nuke. I'll be honest with you guys. That nuke is really nice. Oh, you know, I should have saved that because it's gonna buff actually here. Um, I think it gets attack buff right now. This is the world's longest give a mess. <laughs> but 
we were able to get every order off in this fight, so I'm very happy with that, as that was the game plan. Oh, you're, you're joking, right? <laughs> he could do that? I've never seen that before. He dispelled when he gained that ability. Bro, I didn't know he had that ability. I never knew. I guess every day you learn something, right? Every day you learn something. Also, is the wording wrong or less he is passive? Because where are her white wings at? She has Dawn Blade, Dawn Sky Edge, White Wings, but it's only two. Oh, I guess it takes really long. It takes about 15 turns, right? No, 10 turns. But I took a little bit of time because I was using her other skills. I actually forgot all about that. <laughs> Oopsies. Cause I'm wondering why she's not capped out on her, her passive yet. But I didn't think too much about it. That's what happens when you start playing and you, you talk too much. Do a nuke here. Do a nuke here. We're going to end up using Grim near next turn. Delay doesn't really do much, but you know, it helps, I guess. Let's heal here. I don't remember if he dispels himself still. But if he does, well, we'll have debuffs anyway. If not, oh well. It's not that important, right? I am still mad he dispelled my, my buffs. I went through all that work to build up my attack orders and he's just like, <laughs> goodbye. So that's pretty troll. Sometimes, I, you know, whenever I do Gigamas, I'm just so accustomed to using Neo, Koma, Shiva. I kind of forget what the fights are like. <laughs> it's just one of those things, you know, when you, you when you have certain things and options, right? You kind of forget the real fight because it then kind of gets exploded due to the insane burst that that comp can give. Oh, we have to gain uh, attack buffs, attack orders, so I can use it. Wow, we have to take quite a bit of damage there because it ripped through Lestia's shield. And that was 10k shield, right? So that's pretty scary. Well, that's 1 million autos, you know? Not bad, not bad. What out, uh, Shiba? That 50% damage cap coming clutch. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. We may not have Shiva, but we still have her nice skill. Um, I don't know if she's meta though. Like, while her her orders are cool and all, it's just, it's so clicky. I, I feel like that's always gonna be a problem with her. It's just too clicky. While the orders are nice, don't get me wrong, they're nice. It just feels a little bit too clicky for me. So I just can't like say, oh, she's definitely gonna be meta or anything. But I don't think she's a bad character by any means. I think she's a lot more viable now with the extra nukes. But you can also look at the nukes as a bad thing because it takes the longer to use your skills now because he's going to keep using skills. So, it's something you got to factor in. Unlike something like Tally Ho, like with Kalulu, it's something that happens at the end of battle. Hers happening during battle, so you do lose a little bit of time because he activates the skill. That's one thing I have to mention with her. Um, this is gonna be it for now. I'm, I can't. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll be back in a couple hours with the rest of the characters. Uh, um, one thing I would like to mention: if anyone really into Halloween use this, look around for DJ Salt. He probably posted a better video than I would ever post because I just don't have everything that's optimal for that character. That's one thing I would like to mention though before I leave. Until next time, goodbye.